Greetings, my unique Leos and others. This is Soul, Intuitive Tarot for Unique Souls. This is going to be a general reading for my unique Leos and others for the month of August. This is a love focus reading, a potential energy that I am uh, picking up for my unique Leos and others uh, in terms of love for August 2015. Welcome to my channel. Uh, I want to thank my uh, new subscribers and, and everyone who has uh, uh, given me support and shown their love uh, for, you know, the work that I'm doing and uh, support of my channel. I'm not going to spend too much time uh, babbling. I'm going to get right into it because if you have followed my videos from the past or at least the uh, last love uh, focus that I've done for you is basically going to be the same way and I'm going to pull out the information um, the best that I can and I hope it resonates with some of you because again this is a general reading it will touch base with some of you it will not touch base with all of you uh, please keep that in mind um, so let's begin so I don't want to waste any time as I did an overview of your spread, uh, it looks like it's going to be a very interesting month. Uh, n not necessarily bad. I see some good stuff uh, coming through for my Leos uh, for the month of August in terms of love. So let's see what my guide is uh, giving me to pass on to you. Um, we're going to start off with how you're going to be moving into the month of august uh, and we have the full card in the upright it's a major arcana and this full card uh is all about new beginnings but because this is a a relationship uh, reading uh this is in terms of potential new loves coming your way this month meeting new uh possible suitors male or female uh i feel that for some of my leos who may have dealt with the situation because i'm picking up past energy now that you know if you've broken off or you know severed ties with somebody that you were dealing with this month here is all about a fresh start and, and new beginnings in terms of um you know you know possibly or potentially meeting someone that is more suitable for you uh because i felt strongly um Prior to the read that there was a lot of energy that my Leos uh, in terms of relationships have been dealing with a lot of, uh, you know, battles and struggles and stuff. But some of you still are. But um, some of you who have dealt with the situation, uh, you know, either dating someone that just wasn't compatible with you um, or, you know, if you were involved in the partnership and, and you broke off from that person that you were dealing with uh the month of august is is a fresh start and new beginning so that's really good to hear and i'm proud to pass that on to you uh what's crossing you uh for the month is the two of wands now the two of wands to me is that some of you uh and i'm gonna keep this strictly based on uh love and relationships the two of wands to me is that some of you um may be feeling you know like not necessarily sexually depleted but your sex drive is is sort of like low and uh that's not typical for leos and i'm not saying that to uh, poke fun at you i'm just saying that <laughs> it's you know it is what it is some of you are um not feeling you know like you know passionate about uh, uh love making if you are you know partnered with someone or uh, the, the spark is just not there for some of you um, for the singles, I feel that, you know, it could be because you're not connected with anyone. Um, I'm feeling that the, you know, the sex drive for some of you are, you know, is low. Uh, and there's, you know, less creativity with this card and, and less passion. So for the ones who are partnered, the same thing applies. There's just not enough passion you feel or, you know, the sex in itself is not, you know, really creative. It's it's not what you think you should have or you, you should, you know, be experiencing. 
And this could also well be for, you know, the ones who are dating. The same thing applies as far as the sex, um, the sexual activity in your life. It just feels like there's a lot of passion, um, you know, missing. Or, you know, you just feel uh, sexually, you know, not depleted, but just your drive is not as high as it should be or you want it to be. Okay, in your recent or your distant past, we have the seven of, I'm sorry, it's the chariot. It's a major arcana. So, you know, whenever these arcanas come up uh, and it's in the reverse, uh, it's telling me that there's some, you know, major life uh, changes or shifts that occurred with some of my Leos. Now, I'm going to use this in terms of, and I'm going back from as far as six months to a year with this, that some of you may have been involved in a relationship with a water sign, cancer, and particularly. And the card being in reverse is only letting me know that, you know, either they walked away from you or you walked away from them. Or, you know, you turned your back on them or they turned their back on you. Uh, so I'm feeling that for some of you may have been in a, a situation with a water sign where... It just wasn't going the way that you wanted it to, or it could be from the person uh, of this this water sign didn't um, see the relationship going the way that they wanted to. So that's what I'm feeling for your recent past six months to a year that it was a water sign, or you know someone that carries the water sign energy, Scorpio, Pisces, uh, Cancers as well, um, but it could also be another sign that has their energies your recent past and we're going back as far as six months we have the king of wands in uh reverse and this is what some of my leos could have been dealing with another fire sign uh aries sagittarius or another leo male or female and the card is in reverse so either there, if there was a separation, it was from one of these individuals. And it could have been just that the entire relationship, uh, which is unusual for Leos uh, in my fire signs, that the uh, sexual stuff um, wasn't up to par. For some of you individuals who have dealt with a fire sign, or, you know, maybe the sex was great, but it wasn't what... You, you thought it would be or expected it to be and i feel strongly that some of you have been or dealt with uh, a fire sign uh, but again this card is in reverse so i'm saying that either you turned your back on this fire sign another fire sign or they turned their back on you uh the card uh being in reverse and what i'm being fed to say is that whatever the situation was uh pertaining to you it wasn't um It wasn't what you wanted to be or uh, expected it to be um, with another fire sign or another sign that had the fire energy. Um, so I do want to, uh, because it is a king of wands and, you know, in the upright, it's all about, you know, high sexual drive. Uh, the passion is really, you know, really on point, you know, with creativity and stuff. But because it's in reverse, some of you have... Um, dealt this you know dealt with this you know individual it could have been you who was feeling this way as far as um the sex and i connected with the two of wands see because that's what's crossing you going into the month of uh, august and so a lot of you have not necessarily you know as i'm speaking i do recall just on the weeklies that i said that some of you were you know being promiscuous or some have some sort of sexual addiction. I still stand by what I say, but it doesn't necessarily mean that everyone is, you know, suffering from a sexual addiction or being uh, promiscuous. But this card here and what I'm sensing is that whoever you dealt with, whether it was with another fire sign or, you know, a person that carried that energy, uh, th there was something lacking uh, within that situation, either, you know, with a partnership or someone that you were dating. But I feel strongly that some of you have turned your back or they turned their back on you. This is six months. 
in your uh, future position, we have the seven of cups in reverse. So a lot of you, I feel, have, or at least you're feeling that, you you know, in, as far as the dating uh, game is concerned, that you, your, your choices are limited. Um, if it was in the upright, I would say, surely, you know, coming into the month of August, um, you know, regardless if we have drawn the full card in the upright for you, which is all about new beginnings uh, uh, and fresh starts and stuff. But the seven of cups here is like for some of you, I'm feeling that your choices are limited or, you, you know, you're just emotionally depleted from dealing with uh, either past relationships or, you know, you just don't even have the emotional strength right now to deal with, you know, uh, uh, another you know, let down or a setback. So you're feeling somewhat mid month. I feel that you you know are just emotionally not necessarily giving up on love. It's just that you you've been through it and you basically are you know at not really a crossroads, but you just want to give yourself some time and some rest before you even um you know partake in, in in investing your time and energy into another situation i feel that's you know for some of you you know you just been through it and you just don't want to go through it you know anymore you know you want to meet that one that's going to do everything that you want them to do or be for you uh but given some time you will because see this read um, that I'm doing right now is specifically for you because again you have the potential you have the strength to endure any setbacks minor setbacks or whatever situations that you're dealing with in terms of love you have the, uh, the strength to move forward and of course we have Leo the lion that represents you know my uh, Leos so uh, you know when I shuffled the cards and 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 you know channeled and and Ask my spirit guide to help give me the message messages to deliver to my Leos. Of course, the Leo, uh, the strength card comes up upright. So that's a very good sign. And uh, it's a major arcana. So you have the power and the strength to endure anything coming up this month for you uh, in terms of relationships. So, you know, it's not not really a bad thing. It's a good thing. It's a good card to have going into uh, the month of August. And then also, too, I'm being fed to tell you that some of you may enter or meet another fire sign uh, this month. This connection could be someone from work, uh, someone that you're introduced to by a friend, or it could be just someone where, you know, you're out and about and, you know, this person uh, catches your eye, you catch their eye, and, you know, there might be a conversation that is struck up uh, between you two. Um, so it could go that way. And I think that with the seven of cups, some of you are, um, I feel, um, you know, disappointed because you're doing online dating and the choices that you've come across don't suit you. Uh, I'm feeling strongly that some of you are members of online dating sites and the choices that you've, um, or at least the people who acknowledge you or want to meet you, greet you, whatever, uh, is just not sitting well with you. The choices don't seem to be uh, what you're looking for. Um, so I wanted to throw that in there. Uh, how do you see yourself going into um, the month of August in terms of love? Some of my Leos will be taking a rest. I'm sorry. Some of my Leos will be taking a rest period. We have the four of swords and the upright. Uh, this could be simply because of what I just said about the online dating uh, choices that uh, you've come across. Uh, and they're just not suitable for you. So I think some of you want to take a time out. Uh, it doesn't necessarily uh, mean that you will, but you will take a rest period. It could be from a relationship that you're already involved in that you feel that you need to take a time out just to uh, ex assess, reevaluate things to see what direction the relationship is going in. And in terms of your own emotional um, 
you know, capabilities or capacity for, you know, the, the relationship, whether you're in a relationship already or whether you're dating someone in terms of uh, moving forward, expectations and so forth. Uh, next to the four swords, we have the Hierophant and the upright position. And this is a um, major arcana as well. So you got a lot of major arcanas here. You have three of them. And so some of you are going through, when I say serious stuff, it doesn't necessarily mean bad stuff. Please don't take that the wrong way. It's good stuff for some of you. It's It's all... How you do, you know, interpret what I'm saying and, and the information that I'm giving you. But since this is the uh, Hierophant in the upright position, um, this card to me means, you know, uh, teachings, lessons, and unions and stuff. And so some of you may be, you know, going down the aisle this month with someone that you've... Uh, been in you know involved with a long-term um partnership with and because i want to keep this strictly focused on love and relationships i also see that for some of you you may be uh invited to a wedding i have to throw that in there because that's what i got um also too we have next to the hierophant and and, and it's about unions so even though I said that for some of you, you're, you're going through a rest period here and taking the time out from, you know, relationships in general. But I don't think that's going to be something that's going to be long term for, you know, some of you is going to get right back into the game. And this card here uh, gives me that validation that some of you are going to meet someone. Like I said, it could be another fire sign, male or female. And then there's going to be a potential union for some of you who are already in a uh, long-term commitment, there may be a proposal or a marriage um, taking place with some of you. Next to the uh, Hierophant, we have the uh, Nine of Pentacles uh, in the upright. And this uh, is telling me that, <clears throat> excuse me, again, because it's a, um, it's almost like one step away from having, you know, uh, some sort of, uh, you know, abundance and, 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 and opportunity uh, of, you know, fulfillment and joy within a, a relationship or someone that you're dating. And I feel like, again, this could be um, someone that you meet that could be a fire sign, also could be a uh, earth sign, Taurus. And with the Nine of Pentacles uh, next to it in the upright, I'm also picking up male or female energy uh, the persons may be, uh, you know, uh, Virgo, Capricorn or, you know, Taurus that you may come across or you may be introduced to or if you're not introduced to them it may be somebody at, you know, your job that um, has an interest in you. Um, those are the things that I'm getting to pass on to you. Um, so it's not really bad it's, it's actually pretty good like i said it all depends on how you receive you know my message and how you interpret it so in your future outcome uh, you know we do have the the howard of cups uh in reverse now because it's in the reverse i have to honestly say that for some of you who are partnered um, it could go back to um, this four of swords that I had mentioned before about taking a rest from any relationship or just, you know, dating and whatnot. And then some of you, because of that, may feel this way towards the end of the month that, you know, you just the love is not there. It's not, you know, um, you know, meant for you to, um, you know, connect with anyone. But this is this is far from the truth. I think that for some individuals that I'm picking up strongly is that you've already been through, for some of you, already been through uh, a relationship situation. And I think the strongest message that I can pass on to you is that rest period that you need to take a step back. Um, and then this is why the two of, I'm sorry, the Herald of Cups is in the reverse, 
that even after the rest period, some of you are going to still feel like, you know, not necessarily that you, you, you're you wasting your time or, and your energy and, and um, putting yourself out there to meet somebody or if you're in a relationship, um, you know, putting all the effort in to uh, maintain a relationship with someone that you're uh, currently connected with. I just think that by the end of the month, some of you will feel, you know, like within a relationship or a dating situ uh, scenario that you're just emotionally, um, you know, feeling drained. But it's not bad. So all the energy that I see uh, coming up for you and feel that you have the potential to meet another fire sign, an earth sign. Um, could be with the uh, fire sign, another Aries. I'm sorry, another Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Uh, there's a potential for meeting a, an earth sign, Taurus. And then we have the nine of pentacles next to the uh, Hierophant. And the reason why I say that is because I always associate the Hierophant um, with uh, unions and, and, you know, like marriages and stuff like that. And so because the nine of pentacles okay if you notice the nine of pentacles is looking at the higher font and that's telling me to uh, pass on to you that there's some sort of union that's going to take place and it could possibly be with an earth sign uh this month and now keep in mind too that because i i i do time stamp but my energy always seems to carry over you know it could go beyond this month and but because i can pick up past energy and then swing it through uh, i feel that some of you are going to enter into a um a partnership or a union with an earth sign or another fire sign and then this too just to throw it out there uh, i just was given to, to pass on to you that august will be a hot month uh for some of you so that's a very good sign. Uh, my spirit guide just gave that to me. <laughs> it's going to be a hot month. So it all depends on how you, you know, deal with this uh, rest period for some of you who, who, who definitely need to take a time out. And because this four swords, it's be, uh, excuse me, beneath the two of wands. This is why I said earlier that some of you feel like your uh, sexual drive is down and, um, you know, you just need to, you know, pull back and, and, and rest up a little bit to to get that strength and that power that uh, is so about your sign. Um, so it's not really a bad month. I'm, I'm really to start off the month. And I forgot to mention, too, I uh, wanted to wish you uh, Leo's uh, a happy birthday. The ones who start celebrating tomorrow. I think that's the break. Um, Leo's birthday starts tomorrow. Um so I wanted to wish you a happy birthday, everyone. Uh, <clears throat> but I think overall, as I'm I'm looking at the, the, this reading, is is really not bad. It's it's really, really good. Now you know if it was bad, I I tell you in a heartbeat. But I'm not sensing that for some of you. I know that I'm picking up uh, that some of you have dealt with some serious issues with in a uh, relationship. It could have been someone that you were dating, and things just didn't work out. Um, some of you are, I feel are holding on to a situation that, you know, you know, that you definitely know no longer serves you. And for whatever reason, you continue onward with that. And I think that, uh, because I just said that it may have something to do with the Herald of Cups in reverse, um, at the end of the month that, you know, from whatever it is that you're dealing with, if you're still sticking around in a relationship that, you know, you should have left a long time ago, then that's what you're going to do. You're going to end up uh, making a decision to either leave the situation altogether. And then it's going to leave you like somewhat emotionally, uh, you know, uh, drained, but that's not really a bad thing because I think that you need to, uh, you know, some of you need to, go through that process in order to uh you know cleanse yourself and prepare yourself to uh meet someone else new that's going to resonate with you 
and it's all about new beginnings and fresh starts for some of you like i mentioned before some of you i feel turned your back or the person turned their back on you could have been a water sign cancer uh scorpio pisces some of you are feeling you know uh at this moment going into august now we're still in july but we're talking about august um feeling like your sexual drive is down um some of you dealt with another fire sign um Aries, Sagittarius, uh, Leo in the past and uh, they either turned their back on you or you turned your back on them. Some of you I feel are on dating sites and your choices you feel are limited and you just don't like the uh, choices that you have been uh, given or shown uh, but you do have the strength to carry through and you may uh, have the potential of meeting another fire sign as I stated before. Uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Some of you Leos are going to go through a rest period. It could have, could be because of a, a recent break, um, you know, with someone that you were dating or, you know, partnered with for, you know, long term. Um, I see some of you <clears throat> going down the aisle, <clears throat> invited to a wedding. I see a union, possibly with a earth sign an earth sign uh virgo capricorn and taurus i'm feeling strongly uh, uh with the taurus uh, i'm being fed to say a taurus but that uh could also be you know a virgo but if it's not then they have that energy of an earth sign so that's what I have for my unique Leos and others for the month of uh, August. This is a general love reading. And the Whispers of Love card that I have selected for you is Express Love Through Gifts. And it says here on the bottom of the card is giving a small token to someone expresses your love to them. So for, you know, the ones who are dating excuse me, the ones who are dating are, you know, potentially have an opportunity to meet someone new. Now, don't run out and buy somebody a gift that you don't know. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that if you're partnered already, express your love through, you know, little gestures as giving them a gift. And it doesn't have to be expensive. It could just be a little token, uh, something that um, they would appreciate and but just keep in mind that if you're you're sharing a, a gift or expressing a gift or expressing your love through a gift that as long as it comes from your heart then it's meaningful it doesn't it doesn't matter how the other person receives it and um for the ones who are dating or just now starting to date you know uh you know something as simple as a, a, a flower flowers to uh, let the person know that you know they mean something to you so it's all about expressing your love through gifts so that's a beautiful card to have for this month and like i said before it's not a bad month i just felt strongly going into this that my leos were dealing with situations uh some of them were topsy-turvy and some of them not so topsy-turvy but for uh, the ones that i feel that have dealt with a situation you're either hanging on to it or you're trying to let it go uh and some of you have turned your back or the person turned their back on you possibly a water sign fire sign okay um so that's all i have for you uh my unique leos and other others i hope this reading resonates with you and um let me know uh, by, you know, commenting, uh, sharing my videos, subscribing, um, disliking. It doesn't matter. Um, but anyway, I hope that August is truly a hot month for my uh, unique Leos and others. Um, until the next time, uh, I wish you all love and light. Be safe. Take care. Bye.